heat waves are extreme and long run, running events that, so to say, spike relative to normal local conditions. So you can have a heat wave in Montreal or Cairo. Now, without the ability to respond to feedback and make adjustments, systems such as the human body, a garden or a national electrical grid are unable to operate healthily in this sudden spike of heat. In addition to maintaining the normal operation, bodies, plants and infrastructure come under stress. People and animals may become dehydrated or suffer from heat stroke, train lines may buckle and electrical systems often shut down due to the extra demand caused by air conditioner use and heat waves. You can prepare for extreme heat in your design by ensuring that you consider the solar aspect of your site layout and applying that in both your planting and building design. Selecting cool roofs which are white, reflective or a green living roof and choosing appropriate natural building materials that insulate and hold thermal mass will help keep your home cooler. Now if you are working with an existing building, you can incorporate these principles into renovations. But low impact affordable approaches include growing shading plants or in the shorter term using recycled cardboard to shade windows and adding bubble wrap to insulate them. Now working to maintain soil moisture is essential both locally and at a regional scale to prevent heat waves. During a heat wave, changing behaviour is essential. Keeping hydrated and as cool as possible is important for both humans and animals. Identifying a cool zone in your home and focus your cooling efforts rather than trying to cool an entire building. Under severe heat wave conditions, everyone is at risk or de of death or severe health problems, so additional measures may be necessary. Young children, the ill and the elderly, all are less able to moderate their body temperature. So consider in these conditions using an air conditioner to maintain a comfortable temperature. However, too much air conditioner use across the region puts stresses on the electrical grid, leading to blackouts. So you should consider unplugging non-essential electrical equipment to reduce overall demand. And if you've installed solar power, check on your inverter technology. Due to safety and technical reasons, the majority of solar inverters on the market will not continue to provide power to the home in the event of grid interruption.